Under phase two restrictions, most bars and concert venues are still closed, but that isn't stopping everyone. As CBS 17's Bridget Chapman found out, some business owners are getting creative. They're finding a way to turn that music back on. Bridget. Marius, typically at this time of year, the Red Hat Amphitheater behind me would be packed and busy with different summer concerts and all of those fun things. And even though venues like this one can't be open right now, smaller ones are still trying to help people get that music fix. Although it may sound the same, Friday night music looks different right now at Wine and Beer 101. It's not normal, but nothing is normal right now. We all know that. Owner Joe O'Keefe says the bottle shop asks customers to social distance and follow CDC guidelines. They've been easing back into the music. Artists play about twice a month at their Wendell location and weekly at their Wake Forest one. Everybody loves music and everybody loves live music and they want to see it. As do the musicians who've been out of work. A lot of them said, hey, I'll come and play for free. Down the road at 3rd Street Social. A similar picture with different sounds. Everybody listens to music, right? It's, it's an integral part of everyone's lives. Partner Brad Ellis says they host a variety of musicians who are mainly local. People like that. They like that engagement. They like to be social, um, but in a safe and, and uh, effective manner. Saying they urge people to be safe, sanitized, and distanced. Then enjoy. Enjoy a glass of wine, a glass of beer, and some, some great music. It's the one thing that's connecting us all together. Now, these businesses do have to follow capacity limits. For more information on who's playing where and when, head over to our website. Just click on this story. Reporting live in Raleigh, Bridget Chapman, CBS 17 News.